Hello again and welcome. Looks like Dave Jones of EEV Blog did a review of the Fluke 101 recently. So I was reading through the comments and there's a person by the name of T. Chicago who writes in and he says, Interesting effect. It measures about 0.3 volts when banged with a hammer or a hand. Apparently some element generates an electricity due to a segnito electric effect. I don't know. Um, that means this device cannot be used on a vibrating vehicle like a train or an airplane. So here I have my original Fluke 101. I purchased this meter several years ago as part of a test that I ran where I was looking at multimeter robustness. I only had two requirements for the meters that I looked at. They all had to be rated 600 volt cat 3 minimum and they all had to cost less than $50. This particular meter went on to survive every transient I threw at it. It still works, I think. Yep, just fine. There's like eight. Oops. So this one doesn't seem to do that. Let's try it in AC volts. There's maybe 24. Now, is that really because of the vibration? Or is that because of me moving my hands around it? Let's just try it with the lead shorted. This is in our AC millivolt setting. Oops. <laughs> Doesn't look like it has any effect. Let's try it in DC volts. Let's try it in AC volts. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything. You may remember I had built this vibration table some time ago. So this fixture is fairly flexible. Again, I had set this thing up just for the purpose of vibration testing some of these meters. Again, there's a LVDS that's down inside looking at the center of this plate. So that's how I close the feedback. Let's just go ahead and turn this thing on. That's shaking pretty good right there. Looks like we get about maybe six counts. Let's try it in the DC volt mode. seeing anything and try it in the millivolt scale. Looks like two counts. Let's see if there's a sweet spot. Let's go back to millivolts and we'll try sweeping it back up. There's a millivolt.
I don't know, we're not seeing anywhere near 300 millivolts like the claim. But they really didn't provide a whole lot of details as far as what it was that they were doing. I'm sure if I hit this thing with a hammer, the meter wouldn't read anything. <laughs> if you tried a similar test with your Fluke 101, let me know what your results were. I think that's going to be it for now. Later.